we need to talk a little bit about perspective. I believe that most of what we see is determined by where we see it from. Ben is uh, standing here, and it looks as if Joel and Josh are in Ben's hand, and he is ready to flick them. Now, if you were to see this from where we were standing inside the church, you would realize that, that Joel and Josh are actually a great distance away. You see, what we see, the perspective by which we see things, is determined by where we stand. When we talk about reaching people who are lost, if our perspective is wrong, if we don't see that there is a community out there, that there's a world out there that needs to be reached, then guess what's going to happen? We're not going to reach them. We're not going to go reach somebody if they don't need to be reached. So you can see that perspective is important. Are these people really lost? Life is short and death is certain. And if we don't have a clear perspective on this, we'll never think that there is an urgency to get out there and help others. What we believe will determine the way we behave. And I think Job had it right when he said this, Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. Now, boy, you could stop right there and just say, boy, he nailed that one, didn't he? He goes on to say, he cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. There are a lot of people who live their life as if they're going to live on this earth forever. They don't think life is short, and they certainly don't think that death is certain. And if you don't have the right perspective, you're not going to reach other people. Why would there be a need to reach somebody if you think you're going to live forever? Why would you want to share with them good news? Because there's always tomorrow. There's always a, another chance to go reach them with the gospel. But if you knew, if you knew absolutely for sure that one day you will die, and it could be tomorrow, then any one of us could die today. It will change how we behave because it's all about perspective. The psalmist knew that in Psalm 39, 4, when he said, Lord, make me to know mine end and the measure of my days. What is it? He goes on to say that I may know how frail I am. The psalmist says, Lord, I want to know when my end is going to be. I want to know when that's going to happen. I want to know when I'm going to die because I want to remember how frail I am. And can I tell you this morning that there's a lot of people who don't, who don't think of their life as being frail. Hey, just go twist an ankle and you'll realize how frail your life is. Teach us to number our days. Really? Count your days. Why? He says, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. That we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Not that we may work a little extra and gain a little more, but that I want to be wise. I want to know you, Lord, and the power of the resurrection. I want to know my Savior. Hear me out. Reaching people with the gospel begins by having a clear head and a right perspective that life is short and death is certain. If we miss that perspective, we'll never reach people with the gospel.